which brings us to our game of the week. Like Notre Dame, this week's matchup steeped in history. I'm told the matchup dates back more than 100 years, and this season we've got two football teams not resting on past laurels. The Hilltoppers are a 4-0 juggernaut with plenty to prove. GW Danville, 3-1, lone loss, Dinwiddie, not for the faint of heart. Our own Eric Johnson was in Danville tonight for the game of the week. It's a matchup we haven't seen since 2016, but this rivalry was certainly renewed tonight between the Hilltoppers and the Eagles. Both teams looking similar on paper. Tons of playmakers all over the field on both sides of the ball, but only one team could prevail with a win tonight. Let's get you to the action. Drayshawn Kendrick, the man for the Hilltoppers, and they were certainly playing fast like they had a hot date to get home to tonight. After scoring a 33-yard touchdown rush, it's Kendrick again scampering and shedding tackles all the way home 65 yards for the score 14 nothing glass leads GW trying to respond this is an absolutely beautiful pass intercepted by Q Foster glass certainly on a roll later in the second quarter Quaterius Craighead rumbling taking out the referee with him scoring 16 yards on the play 21 nothing Hilltoppers lead the crowd rather quiet but the Eagles swoop in with a bomb of a play 66 yard touchdown rush from Willie catch me if you can Edmonds is 21 7 at the half but EC glass could not be stopped their defense played lights out creating negative plays all night long and the offense continued to put their stamp of approval on it even more as they get the 49 15 victory over GW Danville we're really good up front on both sides of the ball we're able to control the line of scrimmage and number five is special uh, we were able to get some stops we had momentum go our way um, and, and we took advantage of some of their mistakes. Uh, we made a couple of mistakes as well. It's a pretty good football team. I'm proud of the guys for playing like they play. The mindset was to treat it like it was any other game. If we play EC Glass football, we knew we'd be okay. It's big. It's probably been around for like 100 some years, and we just wanted to bring it back for the Midtown. EC Glass improves to 5-0 and on the season, and they look as scary as ever. My words of advice to any team in Class 4, simply watch out when EC Glass comes to town. In Danville, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.